Hey travelers, today we are talking about tipping. Yes, we're talking about tipping once again. Local currency is key, that is gold. Here's the thing, most, most Mexicans, when they're working at resorts, they're working six out of seven days a week. So they have one day off per week. Sometimes not that if it's a new resort or sometimes not that if it's peak season, they'll bring them in, especially if they're really good stuff. And to them, they think, well, this is an extra opportunity for me to make extra tips, more money to take back to my home, to my family. It's hard work, right? We all know from our experiences that we never get a good exchange rate when we're dealing with a foreign currency in a different country. The vast majority of Mexicans don't have a bank account. Uh, not only that, but they also don't have a passport. So trying to go to a currency exchange place they don't qualify. This makes it a very big challenge for them. And I've seen it where people have been negotiating for prices to purchase stuff at the souvenir shops. And if they say US dollars, it's one price. And if they say pesos, the price comes down every single time. Try it yourself. Don't listen to me, give it a try. It's so easy for you to go to a currency exchange house ahead of your trip to get your money. Pro tip, if you're hanging out all day long in the same area at the pool or by the beach and you're gonna have the same server, instead of giving them a buck or two bucks each time they come around with drinks, why not just give them a larger bill at the beginning of the day? If you tip a larger amount right at the beginning, then you don't have to worry about losing all your small change right up front. The other pro tip is by the end of the day, the bell desk, those folks, as well as the bartenders are the ones who have all the small bills. So yeah, when you're going to Mexico, definitely Mexican peso is king, whether it's buying souvenirs, whether it's paying for services, or whether you're tipping for services. Definitely Mexican peso is the way to go. But what if you're going to Jamaica or the Dominican Republic? And this is where I would say, no surprise, still say local currency. These people generally are going to get a little bit more time off than they do in Mexico if it's a staff worker, but there's the usual constraints. You know, if they're going into a local grocery store, yes, they can probably use American dollars to buy their groceries. We know they're not going to get the, the best exchange rate. So why not just make their life a little bit easier by going and buying ahead of time Jamaican dollars or Dominican pesos. Now I know this gets tricky. As of today, one US dollar is the equivalent of 17 Mexican pesos. So you can round that up to a 20 is the lowest bill that you can get in Mexican currency. So that works out not too bad in terms of a one to one ratio. When you get to the Dominican, you're now talking 59 Dominican pesos is one US dollar or Jamaica it's 155 Jamaican dollars to be the equivalent of one American dollar. This starts to get a little bit tricky when it comes to working out what the cost of something is. If you see a beautiful painting or some, you know, nice little art figurine that you want to purchase and you're not sure what the exchange rate is, you could do it in your head, but if you've had a couple of vacation cocktails or beers, you might want to rely on your calculator to make sure that you're doing the math correctly. Bottom line is you are going to always get the best exchange rate when you're dealing with local currency. Your local currency is what everybody trades in. So that's the bar. At the end of the day, they will always appreciate it. Anything is appreciated, but are you creating a situation where you're giving a gift that is not an easy gift to receive. Why not do that in their local currency? This makes things easier all around. Let me know in the comments. Let, you know, let's, let's have this keyboard battle. Tell me what you think. What's your experience been? Have you ever gone to a market where you're wanting to buy a souvenir? Has your price dropped when you all of a sudden say you could pay in local currency? I know it's happened to me. I know I've seen it happen to friends firsthand, but let me know in the comments below. Local currency or stick with the US dollars. Let's hear it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. See you on the next one.